it wasn't the weekend Sycamore softball was working towards in Bowling Green, Kentucky, but no time to dwell for Coach Pooch's Sycamores. Yeah, a little frustrating. I thought uh, we left a lot of runners on base. We had plenty of opportunities to score, and it seemed like we couldn't get the big hit that we needed to at the right time. And so that's a little frustrating, but you know, our kids are still they're still battling and we competed. Every game we competed well, and that was encouraging to see. But really, having some early season adversity is sometimes what a team needs. Adversity is not a bad thing, especially early in the season, like you said. And, you know, we're trying to put different people in different situations and, and seeing who can come through and, and who's, who's not getting it done. So it's good to do that early. You know, obviously you want to win every game, but it's also a growing process on, on the team as a whole. You heard the ball coach mention the toughness of his group, never having to wonder if the effort will be there. That isn't always the case when a roster is small and under a new regime. Everything is not going to be perfect all the time. And, you know, when the when the going gets tough, you know, the tough get going. And they proved that a lot this weekend. So I was proud of the effort throughout our entire team. You can tell the softball ladies were outside this week in Terre Haute. And it may not seem really like a big deal, but Coach Pooch knows it was a major importance to finally practice on their own dirt. That's big because there was a few times, uh, especially our outfielders, didn't play some balls well. And I think that's due partially to being indoors a lot. And we can't get fly balls in the indoor facility. So being outdoors for the next couple of days is going to be a big benefit. And, you know, it's being out in the fresh air and uh, having the sunshine on us is a, is a great thing. Another weekend where Indiana State has a chance to go up against teams with postseason success, such as ETSU and the Purple and Gold Classic in Nashville, and that is just what this team wants. We play, we'll play three different teams. We'll play East Tennessee, who went to the regionals last year, so they're they're kind of used to winning. Uh, we'll play Lipscomb, who's had a few big wins, and they've got a good pitching staff, so that'll be a good challenge for us. And then we've got uh, Georgia Southern, who they're a new coach there, but they've been putting up a lot of wins as well. So we'll be challenged this weekend, and I think our girls are come out, gonna come out ready for the challenge. For complete coverage of the Sycamores in Nashville, you don't need to go anywhere else than staying right here at GoSycamores.com.